Uh, all right, so we're going to calculate the molality of a 1.98 molar solution of glycerin, C3H803, with a density of 1.45 grams per centimeter. What we're being asked to do is we want to go from big M molarity to little m molality. And molarity, if we, if we recall, is moles per liter of solution. And molality is moles per kilogram of solvent, in this case, water. We're going to make at least one assumption, and we're going to assume that we have one liter of solution. This assumption makes our calculations a little bit easier. So what we're going to, since we assume one liter solution, we need to know what the mass of one liter of solution is. So we need the mass in kilograms of that one liter of solution. So let's go ahead and get the mass of our solution first. And to do that, well, we assumed that we had one liter, so 1.00 liters exactly and there are a thousand milliliters per liter so that we can use our grams per cubic centimeter and there's 1.45 grams per cubic centimeter that's the density that was given to us that's always something that we have to measure ourselves or it's given to us and recall that milliliters and cubic centimeters are the same thing and finally we need to get kilograms and one kilogram is a thousand grams and that gives us 1.450 kilograms of the solution now remember we need kilograms of the solvent we don't need the kilograms of the solution we need kilograms of the solvent so we need to subtract off the mass of the solute so let's subtract off the mass of the solute And to do that, we need to know how many grams of solute we have, which is the glycerin. And so uh, we know we have 1.98 moles of it, because that's what molar means, of the glycerin. And glycerin has a molecular weight of 92.0 grams per mole. And we need that in kilograms as well, if we're going to subtract it off kilograms. And that, that means that we need one kilogram per 1,000 grams. And that gives us 0 0.182 kilograms of glycerin. Finally, we can subtract this kilograms of glycerin from our solution. And that will give us the kilograms of water. So our kilograms of H2O is equal to 1.450 kilograms of solution minus 0 0.182 kilograms of of glycerin which gives us 1.268 kilograms of water which is our solvent and finally we can calculate our molality which is the moles per kilogram of solvent so we got our moles which is 1.98 per kilogram of solvent now so we got 1.98 moles of glycerin over 1.268 kilograms of water and that gives us 1.56 little m in glycerin glycerin and water and there you go that's how you cap how you go from molarity to molality from moles per liter of solution to moles per kilogram of solvent and there you go